I just love donuts. I probably wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for donuts. Today I'm going to be taking you into my kitchen and I'm going to be showing you how to make yeast raised donuts. These donuts are delicious, they're simple, they're easy to make, they're actually really cheap to make. This recipe is for bakery style yeast raised donuts. They're what you'd find if you went to, to like a mom and pop bakery or went to Tim Hortons or Dunkin Donuts or like a grocery store. This is a traditional yeast raised donut. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it at home. It is super easy and super simple. Alright, let's get started. So we're just going to make the dough for our yeast raised donuts. We're just going to add in and all of our dry ingredients, our vegetable shortening, the egg, the yeast, and the water. And we're just gonna mix this on a low speed. So now that we've had the ingredients mixing around for a little bit, we're going to sprinkle the salt in. You don't wanna sprinkle the salt in right away because if you do and the salt lands directly on the yeast, it will actually kill the yeast. So I like to mix all my ingredients for about a minute before I add the salt. And now we're just gonna mix it up again for one more minute on a low speed. So now that we've mixed this dough on a low speed for a couple minutes, we're just gonna pick it up and make sure that nothing is stuck to the sides of the bowl. So we're just gonna mix it on our the second lowest setting, setting number two, for about 10 minutes. All right, so now that we've mixed that up for about 10 minutes, we are going to check the gluten window to make sure that this dough is ready to go. So the way you check the gluten window is by breaking off a little ball of the dough and then you just stretch it as thin as you can, just like how you'd stretch a pizza. And as you're stretching it, you wanna stretch it out so it's so thin that you can basically see through it. And if it is not ripping or tearing, that means that your gluten window is really strong. You can see the color of my nail polish through the dough without it ripping. This is what a bad gluten window looks like. So while you're stretching this dough, if it's just breaking up, breaking apart and tearing and ripping, you can tell that you don't have a good gluten window because this gluten window isn't strong enough. So that dough would need to be mixed for a little bit longer. That's how you do like the gluten window check. So now that we've checked the gluten window and this baby is ready to go, we're actually just gonna throw it on our dusted surface and then we're gonna start rolling it out. All right, so now we are going to roll out our dough. And we wanna make sure we do this as evenly as possible. So I'm just going in all different directions. We wanna make sure that this dough doesn't stick. So you wanna pick it up every few seconds and just move it around to make sure that it's not sticking to your surface. My dough is definitely not sticking. It's kind of sliding around, which makes it a little bit harder to roll out, but that is okay. All right. So now that we've rolled it out, so that's about half an inch thick, we're just gonna take a donut cutter and press down and roll and cut out our donuts. The thing that I love about this donut cutter, it pops out a perfectly round donut as well as like a little donut hole. Or if you're in Canada, you call it a Timbit. <clears throat> so we're just gonna separate all of the donuts from the dough and we're just gonna pop them onto a tray. I'm just gonna take all of this extra dough and put it off to the side because we can use it for something else. And with these babies, I'm just gonna put them down and let them rest on the counter covered with a tea towel for about half an hour. We just want them to proof and double in size. 20 minutes later. So these are what the donuts look like now that they have proved. They are ready to start deep frying. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with the little guys. Just carefully dropping the little balls. And I'm just using wooden chopsticks to flip them around to make sure that they cook evenly. All right, now that they're getting nice and golden, we're just going to pluck them out of the deep fryer and pop them right into the sugar. And just give them a quick toss in the cinnamon sugar. All right, now we're gonna add our big donuts. I'm just gonna leave that cooking for about a minute and a half to two minutes just until it gets nice and golden brown on the bottom. We're just gonna flip those over. And let those cook for another minute. All right, so now I'm just using the chopsticks to go through the donut hole. And I'm just gonna place the donuts on a cooling rack that I have. 
right behind the fry pan. And I'm just gonna let those drip for a little bit before I ice them. And now we're done with the donuts. All right, to do the old fashioned like sour cream glazed donut, I put a bunch of icing sugar into this liquid measuring cup because I'm gonna be pouring this on as a glaze. So just mixing it in here just makes it a lot easier. So I'm just gonna start off with the icing sugar. I'm just gonna whisk it around a little bit to make sure that there's no lumps. And as I'm whisking, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of the water. Just mix it up so that it's a nice smooth consistency. Now we're going to add in a little bit of vanilla and some sour cream. And we're just going to whisk that up until there's no more lumps. So I'd say now we've reached a pretty good consistency. It's thin enough to pour, but it's still coating the back of the spoon. So that is done. To glaze our donuts, I'm just gonna give this a quick stir and then I'm just going to pour this all over the donuts. All right, now that we've finished glazing these donuts, they are ready to eat. For the pink Homer Simpson style donut, we're just gonna start off with some icing sugar, add some pink food coloring, and the littlest bit of water. You wanna be careful that you don't add too much water because you want this to be a pretty thick glaze. You just wanna add enough so that you can get a nice, thick consistency from it. So that pink is a lot brighter than I intended, but it's still a lot of fun. So now that is done. Now just taking a knife, I'm just gonna scrape some of the pink frosting onto this donut. So there is the donut all glazed. Now just taking some sprinkles, some rainbow sprinkles, just gonna sprinkle it all over the donut. And there we have our classic pink sprinkle donut. So that was a recipe for our Easter's donuts. I love donuts so much. Everyone in my family really loves donuts. I probably wouldn't even be alive if it wasn't for donuts. My grandparents on my father's side actually owned a bakery and that's where my parents had met because my great grandma on my mom's side is obsessed with sweets so she always wanted to go to the bakery because they made the best sweets and then my dad and my mom fell in love and uh, you know a few donuts later we were born. <laughs> I love making donuts. I think they're so fun. So I really love this recipe. I hope you guys like it as much as I do, and I hope you find that it's really easy. Now for this recipe, I use fresh yeast. I found the fresh yeast in the bakery section at my local grocery store. I just walked up to the counter and asked them if they had any. If you don't have any fresh yeast, you can use dry activated yeast. I just find that fresh yeast yields the best result for this recipe, so that's what I personally like to use. But if you can't find it, that's totally fine. I love this recipe so much. Even the next morning, the donuts are still really good. One thing that I like to do with my day old donuts is making donut bread pudding, if there's any day old donuts left. I love donuts so much. Everyone in my family really loves donuts. One thing that's awesome about making donuts is you can decorate them however you want. If you want pink frosting, if you want blue frosting, if you want white frosting, if you want chocolate frosting, you can add cocoa powder into your icing. You can do whatever you want. You can do a chocolate ganache glaze. I just love donuts. So that was my intro to donuts. I'm gonna be doing a lot more donut videos with some more gourmet style donuts, some crazier donuts. But I just wanted to start off really easy and just do like traditional yeast raised donuts show you how to glaze some donuts and then I also wanted to show you how to do like the traditional sprinkle donut and then for the little donut holes I just toss them in cinnamon sugar because it's like what you get at a fair um, and I just love little like fair donuts like mini donuts oh they're so good anyways I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys tried out I hope you love it I hope you love making donuts as much as I do I hope you have as much fun as I do with this but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and if you want to buy any of the equipment that I used in my video today links for everything will be down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope your donuts turn out awesome and amazing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like that video and yeah, I hope you have a great day.